Okay, uh, today I'm going through uh, some program I wrote uh, yesterday. Basically, it's a somewhat of a uh, digital lock. And uh, I got like 10 minutes, so I actually pre wrote this. So I want to have to do everything in real time. But I'm going to uh, run through it. But, um, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, uh, what I did here, basically here, this is um, the delay function, and uh, I wrote uh, uh, other delays here too. Uh, this is actually a key, uh, a key function. Uh, these three right here are the keys and I created a couple of variables up here I actually initiated this one to initialize this one to zero these ones are open um, let me see okay this obviously that's uh, the default I uh, had a uh, data register A as an output data register B as the input then there's a P which is uh, it's more like a buzzer. Yeah, that's what it is. So I, I made that an output and I made a for loop here. So um, inside this for loop, it's going to keep looping through it continuously, looking if port B, which are the dip switch. This is, let me see. So I said all oh, these set these are the, the LEDs as the outputs, uh, dip switches as the input. So you put some, you switch the input uh, on the input, it's gonna give an output on the LEDs. Then uh, whatever goes on, you get a buzz. Uh, so I'm gonna go through this uh, port A. If it's equal to uh, in uh, equivalent to uh, uh, zero one in hexadecimal so this loop right here this for loop here this continuous for loop and uh, it would turn port A on with this light actually uh, let's go ahead and fix that differently um, actually I'm going to just keep it like that but what I'm going to do is that add a delay right here um, by 300 then um, okay so it's it's going to show that you the it was going to flash the correct input then it's going to flash again it's going to go all the way to uh um, Oh, that doesn't look nice. I think I'm going to copy that one more time. And delay it. Then it's going to go back to uh, what initially entered. So it's going uh, to, uh, once you enter that key, it's going to flash that. It's going to keep it for uh, that long. This is going to flash uh, all the LEDs on to show that it accepted it and it's going to go back to what actually entered and it's going to keep looking and it's going to keep looking keep looking and if you switch it to a uh, C C which is uh one one zero zero one one zero zero then it's going to jump to key one and key one is where is key one I'm going to jump to key one key one is down here I'm gonna jump to key one. We're gonna keep looping. We're gonna keep looping in this loop right here. But before he jumps to key one, it's gonna jump. We're gonna show this on the screen. Or in LEDs. 
So 1100 is going to flash, should I enter it correct? And it's going to look forward. It you switch the switch, you switch uh, the dupe switches to let's say zero C. It's going to jump to key two, and key two is down here. And it's going to keep looping through it. And if you switch it to C zero, it's going to jump to key three, and key three is going to give you all the access down here. It's going to flash all the lights down here. And down below is a little delay that I wrote. So you, it actually has a parameter take some kind of integer in there. And now why this is not equal to whatever you put in here is going to keep incrementing. So in this case, where is the delay? Where is my delay? So let me see, let me see, let me see. I put it at 250. So 250 here. Is going to check. Is D equal to 250? No, of course, D started at 0. So it's going to increment D by 1. It's going to loop back. It's going to check again. Is D equal to 250? No. Incremented D by 1. So D is 1. So it's going to come back here. Increment D to 2, to 3, to 249. So it's going to check. Oh, no, it's not equal to. It's going to come down here and increment it one more time. It's going to be 250 now. It's going to come back. As D, if D is not equal to that, it's going to go back down here. If it's equal to that, it's going to break loop. Power and go back. And uh, somewhere in here, I used the, the buzzer. There you go, right there in here so why it's initially here is going to buzz and it kind of annoying so uh, get your headphones on I'm going to go ahead and run it um, actually what, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, let me run it first and uh, show you guys how this works. So it's in here in this loop right here. That's how you can see here the buzzer going on. So if it's on zero one, it would jump to key one. Let's switch on zero one. Let me see that. Uh, switch on zero one. Zero one. See, so switch into zero one right there, and it jumped to key key one. And you see, I turn the LEDs on CC. Look here, this one one zero zero one one zero zero. So it's in this for loop right here, and it's waiting. And if I switch this to the dip switches to zero C, it's gonna jump to key two. So let's switch it to zero C. So it's all zero over here, and next one, and it jumps to. This one right here. And if I switch this to C0, it's going to jump to key 3. Switch it. Put a C on there. And as you can see, all the LEDs turn on. there FF gets in this for loop and it stays on in this for loop and it turns on all the LEDs so uh, that's it for today's tutorial uh, have any questions leave me a comment down below thanks for watching